Okay. I'm here in Italy in 2010 with Sarah Catabo of the Catabo Winery in Melise. Uh, Melise used to be a part of Abruzzo, now it's its own region, and she is in the uh, Campo Basso uh, area of Melise. Uh, Sarah, tell us something about your farm. Uh, about my farm or about Molise? Do you want some notice about Molise? Yes, tell me about oh, Molise. I think that uh, Molise is a very, it's really a, deli a delightful region. Uh, here you can find uh, um, a sweet hill, uh, old castle, um, um, a lot of archaeological beauties, but uh, you can find uh, a silent, a quiet. So if you come here, you can, uh, can relax yourself a lot. Very good. And uh, your father started the, the farm in the winery in, was it 1990? In 1990, yes. So in 2004, uh, I, my sister Carla and my brother Pasquale uh, decided to um, to make uh, a change in our, uh, mm -hmm. in the, in the, my father's work. So we built uh, another one cellar uh, with, uh, we use a technological one cellar. But Molisian um, people are very, very, uh, very working people and they are uh, um, so jealous uh, of their identity so they um, try to preserve and to end it by the tradition generation from generation mm -hmm. um, so we decide we, we try to, to combine the technologies and the traditions and um, um, to obtain uh, the best from the fruits uh, from the fruits that our little and and uh, great land present us. Sarah's wines, the Catawba wines, are really world class, uh, particularly the Tintilla, uh, a varietal that is autonomous to Melise, uh, the, uh, also a blend that they have of, uh, of Montepulciano, Tintilla, and Syrah called Vince after her father, Vincenzo. Uh, you've gotten some recognition of these wines already. And uh, I think that they're really putting Melise and Catawba, Catawba on the map as a great winery. Uh, those are your, really your, your stars of your winery, would you say? Melise Rosso? Yes, Vincere Rosso, okay. Vince, Matteo di Vince, uh, now it's considered the best wines of Melissa. Very good, congratulations. Thank you.